Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the bell. Hope everyone is having a day of staying true to your word. I'm also having a day. I'm also having a day of staying true to my word. I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic, subject title is going to be on, it's going to be about, it's going to be titled. I'm staying true to my word. I'm leaving my hometown. I'm leaving my city and state. I'm getting away. And I'm staying true to my word that I'm not dealing with no family. <laughs> I've isolated myself away from family. I'm not going back. I'm not dealing with them. They cannot trick me into coming back into the family fold because I'm not coming back. I've left the dysfunctional family dynamics. I left all the toxic and dysfunctional family members. And these family members, they got issues. I don't have time to deal with their issues. I'm not putting up with their issues. Their issues and their problems is their issues and their problems. It's not my issues. It's not my problems. It's not my fault. I did not cause anything in their life. I did not cause any of their problems, their troubles, their issues, and, and their burdens. I did not cause none of their burdens and their hardships. I've caused no pain in their life. I brought no pain and no drama to their lives. So don't take it out on me. I ain't got time for family. Family members they try to take their they try to take their problems out on you. Some family members try to take their problems out on you. And I cause none of these problems. I'm not responsible for how their life turned out and how their life is. So, if family see that, I want all the BS. I want all their games. I want to them. I can see through them. I can read them. And since I'm gone, I have left the family and they know that I'm positive. I'm standing firm on my word. I'm staying true to my word. They see that I'm positive. They see that I mean it. So now they're trying to pull on these nice fake acts. They can't fool me. These nice fake acts is not going to fool me. It's not going to fool me into returning back into the family. It's not going to fool me into returning back to them because they're trying to set me up. They're sacrificing me for their gain. They benefit off of my demise. We benefit off of my punishment, off of my suffering, off of my pain. They punishing me. They benefit from it. So yeah, they benefit from all of my pain, all of my suffering, and all of my misfortunes and all of my mishaps. They benefit from all of it. They don't love me. I know they don't love me. They only want me back in the family to finish what they started. They only want me back into the family and back in their lives. It's to finish what they started. I'm not stupid. I'm not a dummy. I wasn't born yesterday. I know y'all don't love me. I know y'all don't care about me. I know that I'm still a scapegoat. I'm still a black sheep. I will always be forever scapegoated and always 
black sheep. I know y'all didn't change overnight and start liking me. <laughs> I'm no dummy. I'm not stupid. Y'all want me to come back into the family. Y'all want me to allow y'all to get close with me again to finish off what y'all started. Y'all want me to come back into the family. You want me to let y'all get close back to me again and and know about my personal life. Y'all want me to let y'all into my life. So y'all can know all of my personal business. So y'all can sabotage anything that I'm trying to start, anything that I'm trying to build. Y'all want to sabotage it. Y'all want to do Y'all want to do word magic. Y'all want to speak against it. Y'all want to do witchcraft to stop it. To make sure that anything I do is not successful. It does not go through right. It does not come through right. So I'm not going to let y'all back in my life so y'all can know all my personal business. So y'all can just go behind my back and try to mess it up and try to make it fail and try to make me fail. Y'all want to finish off the sacrifice. I'm not coming back to let y'all finish off the job. You will not finish your sacrifice and finish the job. You will not, you will not finish the sacrifice and finish the job with me coming back into the family. A lot of y'all get close back into my life. And so, like I said, because I'm targeted of the family. And once I leave the family, I've left the family. I'm trying to leave town. As soon as I move away and leave town, I'm definitely is going to have gone away from the family. And it's going to be no kind of contact with me. Once I relocate and move to another state, another city, another town, there is no more connection. There's no more connection with me in the same state. Once I, once I relocate and go to another city, state, and town, there's no more connection of them having with me being in the same state as them, the same city and the same town as them. Once I relocate and go, the connection and being in the same town with me is going to be gone. It's going to be gone away. And they don't want that. So I know these family members is doing witchcraft and spells and doing things to try to keep me here. And I, I, I know they're involved in doing things. I know they're involved in making all kinds of things come up all the time. So I cannot leave town. So I cannot relocate. I know behind the scenes they're doing witchcraft and that I know behind the scenes they're doing witchcraft. They're plotting and they're scheming and causing things to come up back to back, back to back, over and over, over and over, to try to keep me in the same hometown with them. They're trying to stop me from leaving. So they're causing just anything to come up. All because they're trying to keep me trapped and stuck here in the same hometown with them. Because me being in the same hometown as them is some kind of connection of them still staying in my life. It's some kind of connection of them still kind of knowing what's going on with me. 
what I'm doing. It's, it's still some kind of connection of them knowing what's going on with me. It's still some kind of, it's still some kind of connection of them being kind of close to me. So that's why they don't want me to leave. They know once I leave, once I'm going to another city, town, state, they know that it's no connection. It's no, it's no, it's no close connection. Once I relocate, they know there's no kind of close connection any longer. There's no kind, of, there's no kind of close connection anymore. They know this. They know this. So they're trying to do everything in their power to keep me trapped here, to keep me stuck here. They're trying to entrap me here. All for this selfish gain, all for this selfish purpose, and all for their selfish reasons. It's not my fault if y'all cannot finish the job of taking me out, of breaking me down, of destroying me because they're involved in my targeting, they're involved in my gang stalking. So if your handlers is going to punish y'all for not being able to take me out and destroy me, if your handlers going to punish y'all or start targeting y'all or start gang stalking y'all all because Y'all could not take me out, or y'all could not destroy me and, to and totally bring me down and totally break me. Oh well, that's y'all problem. If y'all handlers, if y'all handlers do that, if they start targeting y'all, if they start getting stalking y'all, if they punish y'all, all because y'all could not destroy me, y'all cannot take me out. Y'all cannot finish the job of taking me out and destroying me. And that's your problem. That's your fault. Oh well. Y'all should not have been that dirty and evil against me because I've done nothing to you all. All this is so y'all can just benefit with money, materialism, have a higher paying job, and trying to get higher paying, and trying to get higher job positions for, trying to get higher job positions for a higher pay. Also y'all can try to live good. Also y'all can, also y'all can try to live this luxurious lifestyle that y'all want to. Oh well, you should not try to, you should not be been evil against me. You should not be trying to do those evil deeds against me and those evil acts against me. Y'all should not try to do those, y'all should not try to do those evil deeds and those evil acts against me. So oh well, if y'all get it, if y'all handle this turn on y'all, and do something bad to y'all, then that's y'all problem. <laughs> oh well. It's too bad, too bad, too bad because the devil and demons always turn on you. They're not your friend. They can always turn on you. And nine times out of ten, most likely, they always turn on you. So, oh well. That's not my problem. That's y'all problem with the handlers that y'all deal with. Y'all dealt that card, so y'all deal with the consequences from dealing that card. The evil, dirty, the shady card. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn the bell. Well, I tell the chosen ones that's out there. I love you all. Make sure you're on my cow. 
Thank you, the world God is signing it out. I'm out. Until next time, I see you. One love, one love, I'm out. And full love.